I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, and Stolen Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the Hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck. And I really don't want the Hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay his. All right. All right, cool. Got another mission. What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. Oh, fucking lab coats, man. What makes my job harder? Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. Darling. Yeah. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, oh, he's probably like the final boss anybody, or some shit. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, now he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then... What help could he be? I'm I'm gonna hope that there's like a post game after you beat like Do you work the final Rangers? the final mission. Uh -huh. Rangers are final mission is probably gonna be your brother. Yeah. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the building. They must see some weird. God, I want the fucking Rangers gun. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most Rangers. They retire due to cognitive collapse. They, they go crazy. Mission. Not fun. Damn. Yeah, their brains How just explode from like handling impossible realities. Handle might be a bit of an oh wow. To put it. um, it's like uh, in, the, in the in the story it. Rates, that's why stuff, the it's one like kid uh, kills himself. Now, down in maintenance oh. thresholds um, just like instead of coming back. After black 20 black whatever black years, because he, he became an accountant, and like since he was still a child, he could handle the reality of like it being existence. But as an adult, he can't handle the fact that it is a thing in in an impossible impossibility living inside the universe, and that's why he kills himself. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall, Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. A little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically, that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. I don't know, but. I'd, I'd like to, you know, walk around this... this. I would like to walk around and do... I would like a game like this where you can explore pretty much here uh -huh. and do stuff. Yeah. But then you go out and, like, collect, like, hiss objects and stuff, you know? Something that's a bit more x files -y and a less... Speech analysis... Linguistic ability, you know, something a little less hectic and more like procedural cop type of thing, you know. Happening. But for like mm. psychic After all bullshit. These years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems. I mean, we are like hyper psychic, so. More present. You know, who knows? See him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. What is that? Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse. 
Be careful. Yeah, okay, we'll be careful. We're always careful. Don't worry, baby doll. <laughs> Upper level, so I guess... I've ever been up here. Don't think we have. No. I guess not. I could always use more of that. Got more house memory. So house memory, I'm I House memory is the sources I believe that allows you to upgrade your guns. What the fuck is in here? Lots and lots of sticky notes. Yeah. This is... This is called the yellow room. Okay, just... Wow. Math that I don't understand. Cool. It's fun to learn. Because knowledge is power. Why do I need level 4? Ooh, we got some fight. All right. We got some blood. All right. All right, girl. Catch you on your lunch break. You're going to get these fucking hands. Yeah, just wait till you go on your lunch break. Oh, well, it would help if I used the map. Yeah, we must always use the map, Steve, for we when we get lost, I'm we are still way lost. The, the wrong way. All right. Marshal orders us to just sit on our asses and then leave. What's the deal? Somewhere in here. Yeah, I, we never went up here. Wow. That is crazy. Shifted bathroom complaint. Huh, yeah. I complain too if suddenly I can't shit because Yep, yeah, okay. Yeah, this bathroom is so disgusting that I couldn't shit. Can, can I get some help? No, I feel like, um, yeah, the bathroom, um, isn't there anymore, and I really need to go. You can tell he's crazy because he's bald. There is no Dylan. Only Zul. Exorcist him. He'll be good again. In like the next movie. Oh, you know me. Say is it, it you, Mama? You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. I'm gonna have to smack the crazy out of him. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you stop that? Please? <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Alright, stop. Don't you want One frame you cutting know? that hurts my eyes. Fuck off, no. Okay, Wait, pick a fucking camera angle, for the love of God. There. If there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You. You can't get through the hole in you. We let you in. You've always been here. The only truth. A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. Stop it. Orange peel. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Shit. Orange peel. <laughs> this is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. 
in the desert through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And she didn't help when they locked me up for years. Okay, so he's a bit salty. Understandable, understandable. The fuck is it talking about? The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They, they shocked his balls, didn't they? And yeah, they know. they totally nerded him. They 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 nerfed him. They neutered him. Yeah, Sorry, there correct. There you go. There you go. I was waiting for you to find it. I can thank them for. There. Yeah. There it is. We stopped the altered world event in ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. Honey, your worms of tune. You can't stop humming in a dream. Hey, is the slide projector the portal? Just plastic. So Must be, it, slide projector is probably the portal that let the hiss come through from the other side. Funny. So, so he was the hiss the whole time, pretty much. No, 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 the hiss is to get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Alaris is using you. The bureau is using you. You are a puppet. Well, clearly, but fuck you. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Shut the up. Prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end sure. this. Okay. Alright. Clearance to level six. Well, fuck. Onward. Feel like I need to, you know, I feel like I need to talk to him again, but no, no, no. Go see if we can talk to him again. All we, right. they, they, they may sh show options appear. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Huh. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. And okay. then it turns bad. I'm listening. I dreamt that I was you were back in ordinary <laughs> before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Huh. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I think they're just revealing something big here. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? All right. This is gonna have some weird fucking twin. Pe All right, I'm, I'm done talking to him for now. Yeah. This is gonna have some weird twin pe peaks bullshit. Back to containment, huh? All right. All right. Back to. Containment, we go. 
All right, let's follow his orders and see the truth for ourselves. Let's see if this Jesse Dylan Faden is one person. I'm sure it is. Logistics seems to be the best way to go. They just split them apart. One Jesse, one Dylan. Maybe. That, that, that totally explains how she got into the door. Maybe. It, it could be that they're... they're uh, they could be both one person. I'm getting some, like... Uh, 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 this is like the Matrix deadly, Inception. Deadly, yeah. I'm getting Deadly Premonition-esque vibes from this shit, you know? It's all in the trees, man. It's all in the building, man. <sighs> all in the building. Like, I want a game like oh, this. Oh, wow. Lag. Yeah, it keeps doing that, yep. Yeah. Alright, All right, do it. So let's go... I mean, we have level 6 clearance now. Yes, we do. And we can go anywhere with level 6. Just about. Y'all just can't leave me the fuck alone, can you? Nope, they want you to die. Holy fuck, Nuggets. Whoa! Well, damn! There we go. Holy fuck. Wow. Yeah. Yep. This is total bullshit. Those guys need to be fucking nerfed. Yeah, every everybody's dead. That was horse shit. Level 3 headshot boost. Oh, shit. Open the vault. Yeah, this seems like the right way. Yep. Hiss are right there. Holy Makes sense. Fuck yeah. I told you. Well, I thought I seen him, but I was like, nah, maybe I didn't see him. He was the sur he was the reception de desk. Yeah, he was the receptionist. Yep. P6 and P7. Who's P7? If he's... If Dylan is P6. Who's T7 or P7? Yeah. Um, we might be. The projector might be. I want to say, say Jesse... Our Jesse here is P7. Find the barrier. Holy fuck shit. Alright. Yeah, you need to kill the person that's healing them. Like, ASAP. Yep, 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 yep. I think they're down below. I think that's where they are. Yep. Figures, see? And they just went underneath. Whoa! And now you're fighting that thing. That's crazy. That's crazy that the boss that was so hard to beat is now a, a minion. Just glad these wheelchair guys are fucking easy. Come on, right. I need more health. This is fucking horseshit. Yeah, kill that thing now. 
like, because it's only going to heal them. Okay, oh great. There we go. Grab the health. Grabbing all the fucking health. Alright, you're good. Fly. Go. That was everything is now some done. Some bullshit. What the fuck? I didn't even notice the buildings all fucking. Yep. The buildings getting all. <sighs> oh, that it's getting all Inception-y. I told you this is Inception. If it were a video game. Oh, look at that. We even have to walk funny. Oh, this is a nausea. It Oh, this is this is upsetting my brain. <laughs> like I'm getting seasick here. What the fuck? Oh, uh, it's more like we're going through a Doctor Who, Who portal. Pretty much. I'm so, I'm just trying to look for health. Like no. a. Uh, uh, you didn't open that yet what that vault shelter I keep calling them vaults and eh, they're vault shelters <laughs> gotta remember that this isn't fallout yeah it's fine yeah <sighs> fallout there's a series we'll never do <laughs> Fallout games are good and all but fuck me that's just oh all right Whoa! Oh, oh. Let me grab this. Yep. And Open. Then down the twisted hallway we go. God, I'm so over. And then ne next thing you know, we'll be upside. We'll be running up on the ceiling. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? Yep, we're seven. It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. Ooh, let's see. We let's are P seven. <gasps> we are P seven. Look, coffee soap. I I thought that was the uh, the the monk's diner. Oh, P seven outfit, candidate outfit. Cool. Hey, look, it's us petting the doggy. The they were spying. I felt paranoid. I was right. The bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. They were grooming you to become the Oops. next director. See, look, I'm... Friday, $15. Well, the Don't thing... touch. Classified. Wait a minute, look, we're working as a janitor. So here's the thing, is that they were probably making sure that we are, like, since they took him, they didn't take us. It... It definitely looks like... What, what, before you, what, before you continue, grab that. Yeah. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. And other kids as well. Already have her. This time. Oh, this is probably a therapy session that we went to. We found a way in, deeper into it, like, get it shifted. We went inside and... Damn. That's where we found the slide projector. The dump is a place for lost things. Things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Maybe? I mean, I never looked at a family photo album. 
Can you remember? At parties, barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No, that's just stupid. Come on, that has nothing to do with this, nothing. The slide projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there, away from your parents. I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. I mean, everyone's had that type of thought before. Right? Maybe. That's creepy. Yeah. They rec they have her on recording. Yeah, because it's probably when we went to like a therapy set. See, look, they, like, all right, and that gets us through to there. And what? Wait, what does it say? Yeah, it's fine. This is P six. Things had gone differently in ordinary for us, but wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. I sent busting out of it. There's so much coming together in this one case. A new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's, that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Faden. Prime candidate six. And the sister as well. Well, once we catch up with it, but the, the boy, so much potential. Well, we're talking Northmore level readings here, and, and I don't want to invoke his name, but it's completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. All right. There was an True. incident. Yes. It's continuing. Oh, wow. Look at this, he's got the fucking Pepe Se Se Seville uh, board. Yep. <laughs> the fucking string and shit. Yes. This is a force. Dylan has so much. <sighs> but he's, he's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He did something bad, mm -hmm. and they punished him. A lot of stress. Probably killed someone by accident. Robert's got killed. I someone told you. That's all. Yeah, he killed someone. You called it. Clearly, it, you didn't make it work. Clearly. Autopsy report. All right. Okay. Blunt force injury to the head and neck. Excessive trauma to the abdomen region. Lacerations and contusions on upper and lower torso. Fractured, fractured the spinal cord between the L1 and L2 vertebrae. So they were dead, dead. Volsion fracture to the third through tenth rib, left and right. So we pretty much just like just like crush their torso yeah. and neck, abrasions, right. and contusions. Let's look at uh, his transcripts. Darling has personally recommended Miss Pope to a promotional based on her work ethic, insistence, advancing. TC research blank for breakthroughs of her work, according to her colleagues. Pope has displayed a keen eye for details, grasping. All right, cool. The deceased was a blank year old blank with no significant past medical history. The subject was brought after being discovered in the Arctic threshold in active threshold threshold active. Sorry. Yeah. Active threshold in the early state of decay. This is characteristically fungal based in its appearance during autopsy. The cadavers plural cavity. I don't know what the fuck that is. 
were revealed to be entirely filled by the fungus known as the mold, to an extent that medical staff were forced to put on decontamination suits. The procedure was also hindering anomalies, hindered by anomalies such as the deceased's high body temperature and undulating torso muscles, presumably, not, but not probably caused by trapped gases. Routine samples as well as issue, tissue samples requested by Dr. Underhill were successfully extracted. However, the rapid retrogression outside of the host's body need to be noted, cause of death, mold ingestion. So something was in the thresh. Oh. Died. Jesse Faden. Movement tracking department. So, wow, we fucking... New York City, we all went, right. We went to... Bloomsburg, PA. Nice. What and where? Bloomsburg, PA. 1020, 1029. Okay. Oh, so... All right, so this is travel time. She went from Wyoming to New England. She was just going through big cities looking for this place. Yeah. Staff kitchen potentially consuming is private meal, a homemade sandwich. Cut. All right, so someone was eating the sandwich. Dylan Faden transcript. All right, transcript. Conversation subject, Dylan Faden. Review by Dr. Dolan. Confidential. No, it's subject was alone during this outburst. You again. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Why are you showing me this? I I can't do anything. Can't you see where I am? Why don't you help me get the fuck out of here? You always show me things I don't do anything about. Stop showing me her. I don't care anymore. And I don't care about you. You both left me here to rot. Fuck off, you bitch. I will dig out my own brains if it means getting rid of you. Okay, so he's telling uh, uh, our friend that's Polaris helping us to fuck off. Yeah. All right. So basically, at some point, he's, he, he's over it. He doesn't care about us anymore. He doesn't care about his dear sister anymore. That's the place to start looking. doesn't seem to do uh, a lot of damage. Yeah. Want to go get that box? This box? No. That box in that room. This? Yes. Huh. Not a box. Work chat. Sorry. Dead duck. I see your creepy teeth delivering and raising you a dead dog. Delivery and raise you a dead dog. Yeah, like straight up deceased dog. Had a collar on it and everything. Uh, it'd been rotting in that box since they packed it up. Go ahead and imagine how that smelled. So, don't go whining to me. I wish I got to watch a parade of human teeth. Ugh. Man, f I would hate to fucking work here, man. Before they yeah. miss. And like, in. It, where you just have to deal with creepy bullshit. 